All right, so this video is about a TM1000 running, uh, I think it was firmware 7.06 or something else like that, and basically it got bricked. So there's the uh, TM1000 uh, 100, and I just absolutely got the shits with, with being ripped off by, um, as we know, who these people are. So what I've just done now is when you normally connect, you'll come up and it will have, it'll have no, they've blanked my serial number, basically. It does have a proper sticker on the back and, and it was, it was about $800. Um, so there's zero days remaining. Um, I have changed that before. Um, that's the current firmware version. Uh, that's the software so this video is just to show you that uh, how this system works is it's looking for a serial number and it's also verifying the firmware so here we've got on this side fortunately I have to do it by my mobile phone um, and what I'm doing as well is I'm running uh, Ollie in the background and there are three patches to do so what I'll do is I'll just put a breakpoint um, on these patches so we can I'll zoom in a little bit further on and I'll just get rid of that one and that one I'm putting two breakpoints here so we've got three breakpoints basically um, so <coughs> And focus in red are the changes that are needed to be made to the executable um, when it's running so what we need to do is I have made some notes here which I will um, probably just upload to mega um, this probably just upload it to Mega and I've just highlighted where the changes need to be. All right, so let's try it. I've just got a um, Toyota dot key ID67. Pretty sure it's a dot. Yeah, it's a dot. And I've got a couple of transponders over there that we can, we can throw in and try as well. Alright, so let's go over to this screen and we'll go into detect and we'll just have everything ticked and we'll go detect. So I'll go over to this screen and the first first breakpoint that I've done is chump if equal. Um, I've made it to a jump if equal instead of uh, jump if not equal. So let's just play that. And then I've made that into a jump. Let's just play that. And then again, I've changed that to a, a jump if equal. And basically, we'll jump over this bit of code and then go down to the good message right here. And I'll remove these breakpoints. So what we'll do is we'll just. So at the moment it's reading. I suppose we can bring that over to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Bring it over to here, doesn't really matter. And there we have it. It's read the transponder. So that just proves to you that it's absolute bullshit that this company basically deliberately wipes your serial number and it's the software um, that is looking for the serial number. 
So, but obviously it's probably checking the firmware revision number as well. But if you have a look down here, latest version, it's not there. And that's just the, the software version. So what would be interesting is, um, let's go out of here. Actually, what we don't need to do is probably get rid of those breakpoints. Um, so let's go view install modules and see what happens. So it's connecting. Oh, let's get rid of those breakpoints. Because every time you do something in this software, it wants to check this. So let's just get rid of that. I actually don't need that. I'll just chuck that over there for the moment. All right, so these are all the modules that are installed, I guess, in my programmer. As I said, it was $800. Okay, so the purpose of this video uh, is just to prove that a bricked uh, TM100 will still operate without a serial number. And if you've got a brick TM100, you can use this procedure. Now, if you search through the code um, and just take some of the hex, locate those um, three three changes that you need to do and patch it in Ollie, uh, you could run this in a VM, keep the VM running, and therefore um, uh, the program uh, will not change because it's actually being packed the executable every time you uh, open the software again the location of where that data is going to be is going to change so the only way to reference that is to actually look at this data that I've saved this hex search for that hex in Ollie put your breakpoints in there change it when it's running um, and then as soon as you shut the program you've got to do the procedure again so it's not a fix unless you can unpack this software and then uh, make those changes and then run the executable that way but it's now not a pencil holder and you can use the TM100 it's not a DIY video to say how to use Ollie so don't even bother messaging me if you know how to use Ollie and you can patch software this will show you exactly where to go to make those changes run it in a VM and then you can use the programmer as per usual so I don't have a permanent fix maybe somebody's out there that can un unpack this software then we can patch it and then use the executable and that's it okay thanks for watching